It's Sunday, so it's time for my mental health vlog. I hope everyone has had a great week. Uh, my week has been really good. Uh, work has been slow, but tis the season. Uh, my embroidery business has been very steady, very busy. Tis the season. I've been working really hard trying to make sure that I get orders out um, in time for people to receive them for the holidays. Um, Tuesday I went over to see my friends that I usually go over to every Tuesday and it was nice to see them. That was actually the last time I'll get to see them until uh, after this year is over. Um, on uh, Wednesday I got to see uh, my boyfriend and Thursday I had my meeting <clears throat> and then Friday uh, I got to see my son and Oh, I was so excited. So we have a family elf on the shelf who my son has had for several years now. His name is Wally. And I bought a duplication of Wally to keep in my apartment so that when my son came over, Wally would be able to follow him. Well, now that he's out of quarantine, because that was a thing this year, uh, when my son came over on Friday night, he was over the moon excited to see that Wally had followed him and he was ziplining over the tree, stealing a candy cane, um, causing some, you know, a little bit of chaos. And, uh, and then Saturday morning when my son got up, uh, Wally was on top of the stove covered in cookie crumbs and was holding onto a cookie with a big bite taken out of it. Um, he had gotten into the cookies and he had eaten half of the candy cane that he got off of the tree. I helped. <laughs> um, so I was very excited that I was able to carry that tradition on from his daddy's house to my apartment and that it helped tie in the fact that my son has, you know, two homes because I do want him to think of my apartment as one of his homes helps me think of him, helps me, helps him to continue to think of me as family, which I hope he always will. I'm sure he will. But that was great. Um, last week I had bought a video game downloaded for my Switch that he wanted to, to play, and we, I, I had to buy a memory card to get it to download, and um, it finally downloaded this weekend, so he got to play it. You know, big deal. I, I bought a game for my Switch, and he wanted to play it, so he played it. No big deal. Well, the next day when he told his daddy that he got to play this video game, I got the look of death from from his daddy that when once my son went into the car, he told me, he's like, that was one of the few things he was excited about getting or wanted for Christmas, and I got him the digital download for his Switch, and now he's not going to be super excited about it. And... He said a few things that basically made me feel like I had ruined Christmas. So, I mean, it put me in a really bad mood. And, you know, he said, well, you should have checked with me first. And I didn't feel like that was something that I should have checked with him about. It wasn't something that I downloaded to my son's Switch. I downloaded it to mine and my son got to play it. But anyway, it was a confrontation that I didn't enjoy. And it put me in a pretty crappy mood. So, I have to remember that... I felt the same way I'd always felt when my ex was mad at me. And my boyfriend helped me realize that he doesn't get to make me feel that way anymore. So I just kind of analyzed it that I felt that the anger was misplaced and let it go. And I felt a lot better after letting it go. So on Thursday's meeting, the theme was expectations and talking about how we put a lot of pressure on ourselves for the expectations we put on ourselves for the perfect holiday, the perfect meal, the perfect gift, the perfect tree, the perfect decorations, the perfect insert whatever here. And um, 
I didn't really have a lot to share at the meeting in regards to expectations, but one of the things I thought about afterwards was I have been putting a little bit of uh, high expectation on myself because this will be my fir my son's first Christmas in two different homes. And um, he will be at his house on Christmas morning, and then I will have him here Christmas afternoon and Christmas night. And Santa is visiting both places. There are stockings at both places. There are presents at both places. So I don't want to overspoil him, but I want him to feel like, yeah, he gets two Christmases because there's two homes. So I hope I'm not doing it wrong. But there's no guidebook for this. If there is, I wouldn't read it because I don't read. I hate reading. Um... I just hope I'm doing it right. I've, I've put a lot of pressure on myself with expectations that I'm doing it right. So, I guess we'll find out. But at the same time, if things don't go as planned, I shouldn't hold, I shouldn't be too disappointed. The point is that I get to spend Christmas night with my son and my boyfriend, who's cooking us a, thanks, a Christmas dinner, which I'm very excited about. and, and He's such a great cook, so I'm kind of honored that he wants to make us a little Christmas dinner. Kid-friendly, of course, because, you know, it's just the two of us and, and my son. Why, why go all out? It's no point. But he's keeping it simple, and it'll be exciting, so we'll have Christmas here. Um, sometimes we have negative expectations of things and are pleasantly surprised when they go a different direction. This afternoon, uh, my boyfriend and I were having an early Christmas dinner with his parents and his grandmother at his grandmother's house. And there's been a little bit of contention between he and his grandmother, uh, based, largely based on uh, views, um, mostly political, but other views, you know, world views. And... Um, and, and how she says and does certain things and treats certain people. So they've always had a kind of a contentious relationship. So when we were going there tonight, you know, she had already indicated that she had issues with the two of us dating. Like she's was okay with her grandson being gay, but, you know, bringing a boyfriend around was different for her. So she had to kind of adjust to that. So when we went this evening, we were prepared for passive aggressive, underhanded comments, not feeling super welcome in her home. We were prepared for that. We expected that. And it was a lovely evening. She made me feel very accepted, very welcome. She engaged me. She asked me questions about my son. She it was legitimately just a lovely evening and it kind of threw my boyfriend and I both kind of for a shock like we weren't expecting that it 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 didn't meet our expectations and that's a really good thing so was it an act i don't know was she just pretending but whatever it was it was a lovely evening there were gifts involved. Um, you know, she made a wonderful dinner. Um, hi. She made a wonderful dinner. Um, we played a, a board game afterwards and, and had some desserts. And it was just, it was lovely. It was pleasant. And uh, I felt very welcome and accepted. <clears throat> which, again, I, I didn't expect. So I hope that that continues. I hope that, excuse me. I hope that she continues to work on, Scoot, continues to work on being accepting, being loving, and realizing that some of her views can cut people out of her life. So, a great expectation was broken today, and I could not have been happier with the way it turned out. 
And that's why my vlog is so late tonight because it's 10.15 and we just got home a little bit ago. So it's been a long day. We delivered cookies to some people and don't worry, it was all social distanced. Um, and then just got back from the dinner, so. Anyway, I guess that's my time for this week, guys. Uh, Christmas is on Friday. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you have a wonderful Christmas. I know things may not go exactly as you've planned. It's 2020. Nothing has gone exactly as anyone has planned. But appreciate what you have. Appreciate who you have it with. And uh, I hope everyone has a very, very Merry Christmas. Check in on your friends. Remind them that you love them. Check in on your family if you're not seeing them. Remind them that you love them. Check in on yourself. Make sure you're doing your self-care. Remind yourself that you love you. All right, guys. That's it. I will talk to you all next week after Christmas.